Hello friends, welcome back to STM Tutorials. Myself Ajinkya and we are here to learn more about embedded system. So in this video, we will learn how to interface the temperature sensor with STM32 F103 controller. So let's begin. First, we will have to select STM32 controller in STM32 cube ID. So go into file, click on new, click on STM32 project. Then it will initialize the target selector. In the target selector, you have to select STM32 F103 C6. So here we type STM32 F103 C6. Then click on next. Give the project name and click on finish. I have already created the new project. STM32 new project. So in pinout and configuration, go into your analog, click on ADC, click on IN0, ADC1, channel 0. So as you can see that ADC1, channel 0, input channel 0 is already selected. We are making no changes here in the setting. So leave this as it is. Now go into connectivity. Click on user, select mode as asynchronous. We are keeping the baud rate as double one five two double zero, and we are keeping all the settings as it is. So here, PA nine and PA ten are selected as user RX and TX. Now, go into system core, go into RCC. Click on HSE, select Crystal Ceramic Resonator. So these two pins will be selected for the external crystal oscillator. As on our blue pill board, we have 8 MHz crystal oscillator. So we are using the external crystal oscillator for our system clock. Now click on PA2 and select it as GPIO output. Now click on clock configuration. In the PLL source mux, click on HSE. Then click the PLL multiplier as 9. And on the system clock mux, select PLL source so that our system clock will be of 72 megahertz. Now select the APB1 prescaler as divided by 2. All the clocks will be set to 72 megahertz. Now here it will show you red. Now select APB1 prescaler as 1 and ADC prescaler as 6. So if you select it as 4, it will show you violation. So select it as 6. That means our ADC peripheral will run on 12 megahertz clock. Now click on generate code. Our code is generating. Okay. Now we will look from our top. So we have not added any global variables. ADC1 and user1 have been selected. We have written function prototypes here. So we have declared the function user defined functions here. So first type in a welcome message. So whatever you like. So type here the welcome message. Add backslash r backslash n to it. Then initialize one variable to store the ADC value or to read whatever ADC value we read. We will need some variables to store that ADC value. So we are writing u int 16 ADC val 1. This means we are selecting a 16 bit ADC val 1 variable. Now just scroll down. As you can see that we are printing the welcome message on the serial port. So user at 1 welcome message 
the string of the welcome message, string length of welcome message, and the delay, timeout delay. So as you can see here, I have given, I have not given any address of the first message because we have initialized it as a pointer, welcome message variable as a pointer. So it is a pointer to this string. So we are passing directly to the pointer. Now come into while one loop. Start the ADC. Poll for conversion. Then get the ADC value and stop the ADC. Now pass this ADC value for conversion and give the delay. So over this while one loop will con run continuously. It will run in a loop, in a continuous loop. Now we will see that how we are converting the ADC value into our temperature value. So coming to our loop, void loop, we are passing the ADC value to this function. Now declare one variable of 32 bits. So u int 32 underscore t var 1. Initialize it as 0. Now see, here in var1, like whatever value, ADC value we are getting, we are multiplying it by 8.05. So why we are multiplying it by 8.05? Because for 3.3 volt reference, the 12 bit ADC produces total 4096 steps. So one step will correspond to 0 0.805 millivolts. So we are multiplying the temperature value by 8.05. After that, we are like we are printing the temperature on user. So we are printing the converted value, temperature value on the user. Now here in the print care function, so we are declared total 8 length plus 1 terminating character. So it makes the string length of 9. Now see, I have initialized variable i equals to 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So our first value, this 0 will be overwritten by the end of the temperature value. So while num equals to num var not equals to 0, that is this num where not equals to 0. First i equals to 5. So char num i equals to 5. Char num of 5 equals will be equals to whatever the value. Let's suppose we have 30.12. So this 2 will be written over here. So we will have the ADC value as 3012. This 2 will be written over here. 48 is added to make this 2 into our ASCII value. After that, we are dividing this 3012 by 10. So it makes 301. We are decrementing i. So i will be 4. If i equals to equals to 3, which is not, so it will go again back to the loop. Now here it will print 1 then it will divide the number it will make it as 30 then i will be equals to 3 then it will add point decimal point into the string so here our decimal point will be overwritten then i will be made as 2 then 30 0 will be shifted then it will make the number as 3 then it will again decrement i. Now i is not equals to 3. So this will not run. This loop will not run. So it will bypass this loop. It will again go back to here. Now it will print 3. And it will make it as 0. So it will make it minus minus. Then it will again back. Now the number is equals to 0. So it will come out of the loop it will make the final zero 
written over here and it will print all the string on the user terminal and coming out of the print cap loop. Now why we have not like why the temperature conversion is so simple because if you see that the V out of LM35 temperature sensor is equals to 10 millivolt per degree Celsius into temperature. So if I put the temperature as 27 degree Celsius, the V out will be equals to 10 millivolt into 27. So 0.27 volts will be the V out. Okay. So coming here, we have set the temperature to 25 degree Celsius in our simulation. So V out will be equals to 10 millivolt into 25 equals to 0.25 volts. Now we will check that. So if you see it is increasing. It is increasing. So if you see it is equals to V out is equals to 0.2517 volts as we have calculated. Now if we increment the temperature by 1 degree Celsius then the output should increment by 10 millivolts. So it is incrementing by 10 millivolts. So previously it was 2517 and now it is 0.2617. As you can see that on our user terminal the output is changing in proportion. So if I increment it then the in the next iteration it will get it will come as correct value. It takes minimum two iteration to give the correct value because we have given the delay of 500 millisecond. So if we decrease the delay, you can actually see that the temperature is increasing gradually. So it will display the temperature value changing. So you can also observe the minute changes. So this is the schematic here I have given this DC supply from here generator mode DC and I have kept it here I have given the voltage value as 3.3 volt I have set the baud rate as double one five two double zero then on the controller side I have set the crystal frequency equals to 72 megahertz which is our system clock frequency then I have load the program file then ok so I will run the simulation again now we have set the temperature value as 30 so corresponding temperature is being displayed on the user Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy, click on like, share and subscribe. And for project queries, you can contact me on given number. The number is given in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. We will see you next time.